Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review of the Punk Rock Band of War Game Review Institutions. This is something kind of rare. This is Final Days, the miniatures game from Kenzer and Company. I think that's the same company that made fairy meat miniatures. Fairy meat miniatures are some one-to-one -one scale fairies that go around and kill each other and I think when they eat the uh, dead fairy then they get hit points back or something but anyhow this is a uh, apocalyptic horror game. The final day's game sets a new standard in skirmish level miniatures play. Set in the biblical apocalypse post rapture the world has literally gone to hell. The dead have risen again as zombies and they and they walk the earth searching for living prey. Fighting alongside them are the legions of the pit, blood-sucking vampires, foul ghouls, and horrifying demons. Hope for mankind is all but lost. It says for two to six players and takes 60 to 90 minutes to play. Let's take a look at the miniatures first. The miniatures are nice. They're not as good as like Reaper miniatures, but they're good enough. This is the demon here with his wings. And I believe that's a ghoul. These here are zombies. There's quite a few zombies. I forget if it was like 12 or 13 of them or something. More zombies. And more. And here we have a vampire. Followed by another zombie. And let's see what else is in the back here. We should have the survivors here. Yeah, there's a woman with a pistol. Some wolves. Wonder how those play out in this game. If they're, they're something that attack the players or something that the players control or both. All right, here's a person with a what is that? It looks like a shotgun or something. This guy's got a assault rifle. Another woman with a gun. Another guy with a assault rifle. And another guy with a shotgun. Let's take a look at the uh, what else is in the game. Here's the maps. We'll look at those in a minute. Let's take a look through the rule book. Rule book is 15 pa 16 pages, but it's got pretty big text, so it shouldn't be that hard to read. Looks like you need a standard deck of 54 cards to resolve everything in this game. Turn sequence, the player moves and attacks with all the figures he controls on his turn. He may activate his figures. Once he activates another figure, he may not go back, blah, blah, blah. So it's just move and attack. And figures get different uh, attributes and skills. And there's initiative in this. This uh, order in which players take their turns. And here's the actions such as aim, attack, move, open door, window, pass, reload, resist effect, and then you got supernatural powers here too, and it's going into combat here and how you use the cards for combat. And there's hand-to-hand -hand combat too, and also ranged combat. Ooh, you even got a, you can get a chainsaw in this, it looks like, that's cool. Here's modifiers. So this looks like... <coughs> Probably isn't going to be that difficult to get into the game, or at least to learn the rules. Hardest part is painting up all the figures, but you can play the game before you paint them. Here's a supplemental materials book. Nosferatu special powers, divine supernatural powers. And it's going into more in the Nosferatu's uh, powers there. Going into Legion of the Pit units. Here's the zombies. This has got the stats for them. Oh, so it looks like the dogs are on your side. That's cool. I guess the good guys are called the Forsaken and the Legions of the Pit are the bad guys. I guess you can cut that stuff out and use it as terrain. And here's a reference sheet going over actions, hand-to-hand -hand situational modifiers, range situational modifiers, cover and concealment, uh, Nosferatu superpowers and divine supernatural powers. And going over range weapons, thrown weapons, and hand-to-hand -hand weapons. 
And here's some items you can get like crucifixes and a first aid kit and stuff. And there's a combat tracker. And it's got some scenarios here. Scenario 1. Scenario 2. Looks like there's four scenarios. And what do we have here? A combat tracker. Right, and it's also got some here that you can photocopy. That's cool. And down here you have some tokens. You use them as uh, keep track of hits and stuff like that. And those are different uh, weapons and stuff. This looks like it's here's some terrain you can cut out. Third one the same. Yeah. And some more combat trackers. Yeah, I believe that's it. Now let's look at the rule book. Or not the rule book, the map, I mean. There's two of them, actually. Maps are double-sided. All right, so this has got a parking lot here, and here I guess you would place the buildings in here so you can customize it. You got some cars scattered around here, and I remember there was some car terrain you can cut out so you can add more uh, abandoned cars. Let's look at the other side. Other side, this is more of like a, a park that looks like it's dying or something. You can add some buildings here and here. Let's look at the other map now. Normally I don't like black and white maps, but it's, I don't know, it seems kind of cool. Uh, here, it, it, it's, it's non-offensive. Sometimes black and white stuff is offensive. But this, this seems to go with the game, uh, the black and white theme here. Yeah, I can put some... Here, or this is a building maybe here. Yeah, interesting. Cool. Yeah, inside of another two buildings. So... You get quite a bit of replayability with this with all these different maps and stuff. Thanks for watching. If you haven't heard, I'm still on used war games on my website. I also have a buy list there of stuff I'm looking to get. In addition, if you're selling large lots of stuff, let me know. Sometimes I buy large lots. And if you liked the video, please click like on it. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.